Um, I, I'm not gonna bother making actual splits for this. <laughs> We're just going. Start all of them and not finish anything? Absolutely. That's right, Golf. We're going splitless. If I choose to run this a second time, I promise I will make splits then. How's that? This is not the optimal time to get that. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. I'm just kind of wandering around, actually. I... Terra's gonna spawn any second now. Oh, crap. Well, it was like a second lost. Maybe two, maybe three, I don't know. And we wait. <laughs> That's right, Alexa, you better. Get away from your desk. Get away from your chair. Ideally go to sleep. But I know I can't make that happen. We are good on this level's lives. There's something that I've been finding a little interesting that I've been thinking about the last week with that video I made. Um, <clears throat> I was running into a problem with it that I wasn't really sure how to overcome while editing, which is if you have a video that's in 16x9 and you want to show footage from a gameplay that's in 4x3, how do you do that in a way that looks good? <clears throat> because frequently, if you just stretch the image, uh, it looks terrible. <laughs> At least to some people, it will look absolutely awful. And I felt if you just put it, uh, put the 4x3 image in the center with black bars on the side, that also looks bad. But I've noticed, I've been paying attention in other, you know, various documentaries or whatever, documentaries, videos, whatever. Um, they do just do that. They, they do just have the 4x3 gameplay with nothing on the sides. And it looks fine when I see other people do it. And yeah, like, I made the nice border for mine very nice border. It was a gradient and everything. It was perfect. Um, and I was happy enough with that. Uh, Hum actually did that in a way I really liked in his Pac-Man World video. Um, but anyway, the... I guess the main point I wanted to make... Alexa, you're an artist, so maybe, maybe you've experienced this. I have a little bit when looking into getting better at art stuffs. Do you ever have that feeling of looking at something that you're making and thinking like, this looks so weird, this looks so unrealistic, and then you look at something similar that looks absolutely fine and you realize that it looks weird and unrealistic in exactly the same way, but you just don't notice that unless you're the one actually making it? 
Like anybody else who looks at it, it's fine. It, they won't notice that it's weird unless they look really close at it. I think the same thing is true of video editing, and I need to just not worry so much about it. I noticed that I was trying to draw Kid Cosmic, and I got to his hand and realized that the pose that I was copying from, uh, God, I wish I, I wish I had a camera so I could show you. Basically, his fist, the fingers of his fist were facing the camera when I don't think they should have been. And I didn't notice it until I tried drawing that fist and looked close at it. Yes. Every artist is their worst critic. That makes sense. But yeah, I, th I think the same thing is true of video editing. I was watching Bismuth's new video about Super Mario World today. And it was really good, and I loved it, because Bismuth is really good at making videos. And a bunch of the stuff I was worrying about where I was like, how does Bismuth cover this? How does he do this? How does he deal with this problem? He just doesn't? Like, there was no fade or transition at all between a bunch of clips. Uh, whereas I was being really sure to fade everything so it wouldn't look jarring. And like, when Bismuth does it, it's fine. It looks great. <laughs> There's no problem with that. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, Alexa. Uh, I guess I'll just do the regular route here. Except without a death abuse. <laughs> also gonna grab this life now. Or this key now. I keep skipping it at the start to be cool and get it later, and then I just miss it later. land on that key right here, but it's also really easy to just fall past it, so I stopped trying. Start off with way more pixels, that actually makes sense. I've wondered about that too. Oh, I don't have ammo! Oh. I haven't thought about that with Squid Face before. When I'm not doing the death abuse, I need to be careful about how many things I shoot. I still got him. There's ammo here, right? No, that's health. Ammo here. Aha! There's also Megabyte here, I forgot about that. I thought he was on the other corner. Oh well. <clears throat> so when you downscale from that, Please. When you downscale from your large image, do you just, like, shrink the canvas with whatever program you're using and then edit it to look nice? Or do you, like, once you have a clean thing made, at that point just remake it at the smaller size? Because I know if you try to just l shrink things automatically, programs can make that look pretty bad. <clears throat> I 
Oh, that's true. I guess I guess it has been a while since I've tried to do that. Uh, I think the last time I tried to do that was with MS Paint. Not even Paint.net, which is what I've been using for years now. Oh, yeah. There's another route that I wanted to try on level 4, but I don't think it's fast. I think since I realized that the fastest way to the first tear is through here, it, uh, I don't know, it just kind of stopped making sense. Well, no, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, I had an idea that I couldn't do in this run because I can't die in this run. But I had an idea where when going to the final key, you leave a turret alive and die over there. You, like, mend the third tear. Get the key, die, and then... You'll respawn where the tear was, and you won't need to walk back. I just don't think that actually works. Uh, and we will also need to see how this goes. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna have to wait before, uh... Before the tear spawns, if I'll have to wait, if I'll catch it here... I'll need to go way back around another way. It would help if I didn't miss that cycle. Because, yeah, if I can do this right, which I can't at all, and I'm trapped here, and I'm trapped here. Okay, so level four is a run killer. <laughs> That's good to know. You'd be out of the way already! Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is sad now. This is sad, and I am bad at the game. Nope. Finish mending. There we go. Okay. Time to try again with the, uh, with this. And I'm on the bad cycle again. Okay. Okay. This is not actually a hard jump. I messed up, but it's not a hard jump. There we go. I also totally forgot there was a megabyte dialogue there. That's a fun thing about stuff like this. Actually, if I'm coming at this from this way, I think it's faster for me to just go here. Rather than set up the big jump I normally do. Just 
shrink the DPI amount, then making sure lately that your DPI is at least 350. It's a website to resize all your emotes. I see. Your program to resize the keys to scale down to the first size, save, undo, scale down to the next. Oh, right. That does make sense. Instead of scaling down one at a time and losing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of detail on each scaling. That makes sense. That, that does make sense. This isn't fast. I, I need to just mend the tear now. That's really frustrating. I Have I ever fallen off of there before? <laughs> Genuinely not sure. That's really funny. Not triple compressing, right, right. It's also something, I rewatched my run the other day, and there's something here that I totally forgot about, which is that I should get this key before mending this tear. Because then I don't need to set up a jump, I can just hop down and start moving to the end. Saves a little time. It does, it does explain a lot, yes. <laughs> It would also help if I did digital art more. I don't very much, and so every time I do, it's a whole new challenge of remembering how anything works. I, I forget if I've talked about this on stream at all, but I bought a sketchbook back... God, it was a while ago now. Back in August? And I've been trying to draw something every day, just a little something, a little doodle, just to put a pencil in my hand. And I think it's been good, I think it's been helpful. But I'm still not... Not, uh... <laughs> I'm not doing digital art, is the thing. And it would be good to do that more. Oh my god, let me go. The Meg ABC won't be a problem anymore. There we go. I keep reaching to split like a dumbo. You can't draw traditionally anymore. Dang.
want to try taking very old traditional art and redoing it digitally just to show your improvement. That would be neat. Nope. Hey. Hey, now. Get back here. No, come on. Stay with me. There you go. Um, golf, regarding, I don't know why I didn't think to say this earlier, but regarding your game where you had all vowels, uh, I don't know how many letters are left in the bag or if this is a viable option, but I would probably just swap at that point. I've been trying to swap a lot more than I used to, and I think it's been good for me. Like, it's no longer unusual for me to swap during a game. I, I think it's actually been more likely, or more common than not, that I end up swapping tiles at some point, and it almost always works out. Almost. There have been cases where it stinks, but almost always. But, of course, if you've got, like, two tiles left in the bag, then that does not help much. I should really put a title on these splits, saying that I'm... Oh my god, no! 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 Get out of there! Bob! Bob, no! Bob, don't die! Bob! Bob, please! Oh my god, land on the health! No! Oh, choo! <laughs> So terrifying. Why did that turret not hit me? Ho! 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 My heart. Oh, yeah, drawing in pen. I, uh, I, I. I can't do that. I only do it in pencil, and even then I usually only do it very lightly in pencil, because I don't want to have to worry too much about going over and, uh, oh, no, please. <clears throat> you know what I mean. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get the life in this level. Right now might might be the best time? Maybe give it a try right now? And if I can't get it, give it a try after the first tear? No, oh, come on, jump up. Oh, come on, buddy. Stall, come on. Oh, let's go. That life is actually legitimately pretty hard to get. And it's not good to get it yet, because I didn't want this to spawn already. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm happy we got the life. I just need to be... How did I... Right, I didn't kill you. I remember that now. Okay, just jump way over that. That's fine. Get these. We're fine. <clears throat> Rest of the level as normal. Also in my PB, I got what is normally the final key before the second tear. 
I don't know for sure that that's worth it on PS1, though. Oh, it is, because I'm waiting so long here. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. I, I should be doing that. Again, though, you know, I, I really don't know. Because I do also get to this tear early a little bit. I don't know, man. Who's to say what anything is? Me, I am to say. And I say it's probably worth it. Seems more worth it on PS2 than on PS1. Probably also depends on how many enemies you killed along the way. <laughs> There's so much that goes into it. Come on. There you go. Have a good night, Golf. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for suggesting I stream. I was on the fence about it, but you put me over the fence. <laughs> I was sitting on the fence and Golf shoved me off of the fence onto the side of, yes, do a stream. Feeling the pains and being able to control them better? I see, yeah. Controlling how much water and what to blend, that makes sense. And there's no life here. Get a life, Beverly Hills, level 9. at, Bob? God. Standing right in front of a turret, pointing at the turret, Bob is shooting like 30 degrees above the turret. There's also this I noticed in uh, in my PB, that jump. is a neat one to, to start this section quickly. instead of starting it by crossing the area. Oh god. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. I messed up a little bit, but we're fine. I didn't mess up enough to matter. Okay. And there should be seven lives in the rest of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. No. There you go. How dare you have worse aim than me? It's embarrassing. Come on, Bob. I guess in Bob's defense, the Guardian motto is to mend and defend, and nobody told him he would have to use a gun. 
Mark may not be in total control of this sector. Aiming for the thing you don't want to hit. Amazing. Aiming is hard. It's so hard. As much fun as it is to play as Dot and Enzo, I think Bob is a much funnier character to get angry at. I don't know, Bob is just a silly name to say. Oh, Terra's already spawning, that's really bad. Oh, never mind, it's a lot less bad now. We're fine. I mean, we're not fine, that is still time loss, but less time loss. I also do not need to die. Oh wait, I didn't need to... <laughs> I'm doing this all wrong. I did a skip I absolutely did not need to do. Getting the third key before the first one only saves time if you're not doing... Or if you are doing the early tear glitch, which we're not. So, we're good. Didn't need to do that. Now we wait. <clears throat> Should be spawning any second now, I think. How about that timing? Nothing, I bonk my head. Just doing the path backwards for fun. Because <laughs> why not? Got like 30 seconds to kill. Okay, I'm not sure what to do about this level. <laughs> do I just... Do I just let it live for a while? <sighs> There's 
I'm not sure how long I have to mend the tear once the uh, the tear is vulnerable. So maybe I mostly kill it, but then just don't deal the final blows until late in the level. running low because I don't see the health bar. Yeah, you are running pretty low. I'm... I'm just gonna wait, I guess. It's pretty far along here before the extra life. Because it's in this area. So I'll do that, and you'll blow up. Come on, get up. And then the tear should be coming... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, there's the tear anyway, so we're fine. Yeah, no, that worked great. I'm actually really happy with that. That was about as good as that could have gone. I guess the question is, does that tear move faster than the boss? Should I have let the boss move further so it would get to that point more quickly? Should I have run ahead of the boss earlier and tried going back for it? Tough questions, tough questions. This level I'm going to play almost exactly normally. Ooh, except I'm gonna do a big yawn right there. That's the biggest difference. Uh, except I'm gonna grab the life at the end. Because this level is almost entirely cycle-based. And it theoretically shouldn't matter when we get the life, if not for the cycles. Um, like, there's no point at spawning in where it's faster to get the life than other times, so I'm just gonna get it at the end. And take all of the cycles that I know are good already. Wait here. That's not, I forgot I had the box gun. Oops. I cannot catch that. That's fine, I'll wait for it on the way back. Should be able to go now. Oh, no, 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 Stop it. Okay. We're losing time. We're just gonna wait. I was definitely going to die if I tried continuing that jump. Oh, that was close. I shouldn't say die. I was going to fall, I would not have lost a life. But I might have lost a life. <clears throat> okay, now we get the life. Where is it? There it is. It's funny, I remember trying to collect that life back when I started running this game, and it was so hard. That's not the end of level vid window. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? It's over here. That was really silly of me, actually. 
What a goofy thing for me to do, to just jump into a white vid window thinking, yeah, that's the end of the level. Goofy toaster. Goofy, goofy toaster. Almost done. Just a few levels left. <clears throat> Actually, level 17 is going to be interesting. Probably should have practiced that once. Because my current route there kind of depends on the early tear glitch happening. Like, it, it uses the death abuse for more than one reason. It's, it is convenient routing to die in there. Oh, please. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. doing big experimenting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I've wanted to know for a while if it works to mend that tear from behind, because the game lags way less when you're facing that way. <coughs> also, wow, my throat is dry. It's so dry. Goodness. And now we wait a while. I could probably get up and get some water while waiting, but... Nah. Nah. Big nah. Bloop. And we wait again. <laughs> Gosh, do I want to introduce the early tear glitch to this category? It would probably make the routing more interesting. Probably. Would it actually... It'd make it potentially more similar to any percent. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what's fun yet. Pfft. 
Okay. Well, that's fun. I... <laughs> oh, and that's amazing. It's probably not clear what I just did and figured out, but, uh... I don't think the way I've been ending this level for a while has actually been the fastest yeah. option. Well, no, gosh, it probably still is. There's just... I don't know. I... I'm tired. I shouldn't be talking about ideas. It's hard to say what the best idea is without trying things. And I don't try things often enough. Can you believe I have done almost no tassing of this game? I think the only tassing of this game I have done was when I wanted to see if uh, mashing the fire button for the pistol was faster than holding it. Like, would make you shoot faster. Because it does for the level 1 and 2 pistol. But what it does is mashing makes you shoot as fast as the level 3 pistol does. No faster. And then holding the level 3 pistol is as fast as mashing it. Get the light. <clears throat> okay, one more main level, two bosses, almost done. I think I want to wait on that key. I think I do. Get this. I want to jump back. Start with that. I want to wait like 10 seconds, genuinely. Gosh, not that long. I'll go now, actually. Ooh, no! Get out of my way! Okay, you know what, that's fine. That's that's good enough. <clears throat> so the tear should be spawning soon now. Good. And what I want is enough time to mend it and get to the next ledge. I won't. I'm about to run out of invincibility, aren't I? You know what? We're fine. We're fine. That's that's actually okay. I'm surprised I had enough time there. That uh That's a shock to me. So it looks like, if I were to play really well, this could be sub-50? Uh, maybe not. Not quite. No, I'd have to play pretty extremely well for that. Silicon 
Like, there were some relatively big time losses, but nothing that big. Get the, get the ammos. Okay. Yo, TK. Thank you, thank you. We're almost done. One more boss, and then this runs over. And then I'm going to bed, because it's 3 a.m. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well, TK. Hope the, the Mario Kart's been good. That's 20 lives. And... And that's the boss. There we go. We did it. 51.35. So... Here's the thing, part of me thinks, like, oh, not allowing the early tear glitch is just making us wait in a bunch of places. Like in level 15, we had to just sit around for so long and that's boring, so we should allow the early tear glitch. And then I think, if I allowed the early tear glitch, this would be like 30 seconds longer than an any percent run. It barely adds anything. <laughs> Yo, Brig. And, like, I don't know. Maybe this just shouldn't be a miscellaneous category. Maybe it's just not actually interesting enough. But I'll post it. You get to see your life count at 20 very briefly before you defeat Hexadecimal. I think that's fun. I'll make a category for it, because who's going to stop me? Muzz? I don't think so. I don't see his name here. 